Testing. One, two. This is the Mr. Nobody Podcast. Episode 17. How may I help you? How may I help you? Well, today. I understand you have a specific question. I do. I do. And that's as to whether or not any of us are responsible. Could you please tell us what you want to know in a few words? Well, are any of us responsible for our actions? For our actions. For our actions. For our actions. Or is it just something wrong with our brains? Or how does this work? Yeah, how does this work? I understand you have a specific question. Evidently, yes, we make decisions several seconds before we're conscious of them. Specifically about what we want. You are being redirected to the portal. Okay, I think that's what I want. Is that weird that if you're gonna have chocolate? How does this work? Yeah, if you're gonna have chocolate, you're already involuntarily, involuntarily, already decide involuntarily. I'm sorry, it looks like I can't understand you. Let's say you want to have a cigarette. You've already decided before you thought about it. Before you said to yourself, I will redirect you to an agent. I want a cigarette or a piece of chocolate or shot of heroin. But remember. Or to commit a crime. To commit a crime. To commit a crime. I've already decided. But remember. Some part of me that I'm unaware of has decided. I'm here to help you anytime. Has decided. 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 Another part of our mind convinces us that we did make the decision. Fucking crazy, man. I choose this. But it's just our way of tricking ourselves into thinking that the person you are trying to reach is on the phone. We chose it. When in reality, it's something. Press pound when finished. It's something beyond our control. Is that right? Is that right? Is that right? You've already decided how you're going to help me. In a few words, can you please comment on your concern or situation? Yeah. Are any of us to blame? Is anyone to blame? Remember, I'm here to help you anytime. Uh Uh-huh. Are we... punishable? Are we morally... Are we? It looks like I can't understand you. I'm trying to say. Oh boy. Did my son choose to use heroin? Or was it was it something deep inside his brain? saying to him hey 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 why don't we go through all the machinations of buying needles and calling the dealer distance yourself from anybody who'll pick up on it and we are here for all of your needs getting the money i'm sure he used some of the money i gave him to buy it 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 and buying the heroin Is he responsible for that? I've been... I've been... I've been... I've been... been, Holding him responsible for it. It's made me... 
judgmental. It's made me angry with him, although he doesn't exist anymore. Not as an entity. I can't understand you. That I can be angry at. An agent directly who chooses, who freely chooses. Was it just something inside of him making the decision? The decision, the decision, the decision, the decision, the decision, the decision. It's a fucked up decision to not know that you're making. That's nice. So many people died last year, and so many are going to die this year. Is anyone responsible? Is anyone freely choosing to become a drug addict or a drunk or a smoker, a smoker, a smoker, a smoker? Do I know what I'm going to say right now? How does this work? How does this work? Do I know what I'm going to want? Did he know what he wanted? Or did something robotic or deterministic Make him do it. 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 I understand you have a specific question. Maybe it's not making him do it, but some some process unknown to him that he is unaware of possessing made the decision and that made him believe that. He was choosing to do it. Something deep inside his mind that deceived him to think that his, his, his biology his, his. and his conditioning were not flying the plane. I'm sorry, it looks like I can't understand you. That he was predisposed to want go back into heroin, the way a murderer, as he did it when he was younger, needs to kill again. He wanted it when he was 15 or 16. A murderer doesn't even know that he wants it. One of his friends told me that he was the guy who said, let's do this. Here's how you do it. I looked it up as if he was flying the plane. Could you please tell us what you want to know in a few words? I'm like that too. It just hasn't been with heroin. Or something equally as catastrophically stupid, 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 poisonous, stupid, 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 stupid. I can't understand you. Fatal. How can anyone choose to destroy themselves and think they're choosing it? But they're not. I guess, but they are. That's why I blame myself a little bit, but they don't know they are for what he did. They think for what he chose, they're choosing it, or what he thought he chose. They don't, because of connect, his conditioning. The dots, 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 dots. That something in the way I raised him. The dots, 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 dots. Just that how we experienced 
our life together, his childhood. His child's 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 Leave your message at the town. Here's what happened, or what I think happened. I went to school. When I was in my 30s. And my son was young. And like a lot of people who go to school kind of late, it took a bit, it took a bit of doing for me to take control of that new discipline. My daughter had decided, or did something decide for her that she didn't want to go to high school. What else can I help you with today? In our little town. In our little town. In our little town. Little town. Little town. Little town. But she wanted to go to a, a boarding school. And this confused me because she was young, she was only 14. Like, how can a 14 year old know that? Why does she want to leave? Why does she want to leave? Why does she want to leave? She was so adamant. She was so adamant. She was so adamant, so adamant so as adamant, a adamant, student. And I was also a composer for theater. So I was in the arts. So I was in the arts. So I was in the arts. I sweet talked. I sweet talked my way into this private school's office. Put on my best performance to convince them that I sweet talk. I sweet talk. I sweet talk. I sweet talk. What I'm saying is that you should let my daughter come to this school. Because it's helping someone like me and my family who's putting out all this effort to work in the art world and we don't make a lot of money. That was a tactic. It's true. Are there scholarships? Some other students from that school were and I was studying with a very well-known composer, were private guitar students of mine. And I put on my best clothes, if you know what I, I mean. I don't understand what you're saying. What else can I help you with today? And they let her in. Please leave a message. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you. The mailbox is full. I cannot accept any messages at this time. The school was conveniently located. In fact, it was halfway between where the little town I had my house and the big city where I had my work. We can do this. This could work. This could work. This could work. This could and two work. years later, my son was admitted into the same school. It seemed like life was going our way and that was definitely weird now this school wasn't free so i had to i had to make money i had to make money, had to make money. Had to make money. Had to make money and i did so in not always the most legal of ways some of it I worked for, but some of it I sold pot for. And I'm just putting that out there because it's, it's fucking true. True, true. How does this work? I didn't even use my cannabis myself. Shit. This is not easy for me to admit. But I was on one level a very hardworking and studious person. And then I was selling 
I was selling weed that I was growing myself to about, I don't know, five or ten people. That sounds about right. Please wait while I connect you with an agent. And teaching guitar lessons, and working as an actor and a composer, playing in nightclubs, and my son. Please leave a message on back to you as soon as possible. Thank you. And my daughter. We're in this private school. And that's where it started. That's where the decision was made, whoever made it, to start heavily experimenting with very dangerous drugs. Very dangerous drugs. With very dangerous very drugs. Dangerous very drugs. Dangerous drugs. Remember, I'm here to help you anytime. He had a group of friends that were really really awesome kids and their parents too they, these were really creative loving hard working families what can I say the word good the word beautiful a few of them are dead the same way my son died and they got into experimenting, I think first with pills. Yeah, probably opiate pills. And at one point, I saw that my son wasn't right. He was not right. Coming home on weekends and distracted. Hanging out or doing sleepovers at a neighbor's house. Just wasn't right. And then coming back and they didn't look normal. They looked fucked up. And I looked in his phone and I saw that they were buying opiate pills. They were using pills. They were using pills. They were using pills. They were using pills. I didn't even know what kind they were. And the drug dealer who was selling these fucking kids, these 15, 16 year olds, these blue and pink or whatever pills, was advertising them. Like they had names, cute names like Corvette, and not normal names, but like Bunny Dick. Their drug dealer name, names. Shit for brains. And I tried all kinds of things with my son, like putting the hammer down, having deep heart to heart conversations, immersing us in kung fu classes, working from home. I had to turn down jobs. I understand you have a specific question. Yeah, yeah. Making sure I was there every weekend that he was home from private school. Private school. It sounds so, it sounds so, sounds so okay. nice. Somewhere along that line, he had decided, or did he, something inside him, that it was time to try heroin. Decided it was time to want heroin. And he and his friend want to try it. Split off from their other group of friends one day when they went down to the city for Charlie Parker Day. Bird's birthday. Bird's birthday. Birds birthday. Found a drug dealer just on the street of New York and asked him. But remember, but remember, but remember. I asked him for fucking heroin. And eventually they got it. Dealers don't care, it's just a profit. It's your fucking graveyard. And all of this was occurring when I believed that he, he, he was in this most privileged and beautiful launching pad for his life, this private school. He'll get into college, shit like that. Shit like that, shit like that, shit like that, shit like that. He got kicked out of that school. 
They never really said why. That was one of the hardest days we ever spent together. He doesn't seem to want to be here. And they weren't explicit about why. They just said it's not a fit anymore. It's time for him to leave. Please leave a message. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you. And he wasn't well. I can't understand you. I'm saying something was wrong, deeply wrong with his mind. Drugs destroy your mind. He was angry, he was bitter, or you, but he was, it was something else. It was drugs. Make a choice. Drugs were fucking him up. Or drugs make a choice. The way they fuck up every kid. Or your desire. I've seen on any documentary or met in person or talked with their parents. Your desire makes a choice. It's completely to go down, to go down, to go down death to go down, to go down. lane. Completely fucked up on drugs. How may I help you? I gave up my, uh, my little pot farm. It's only like 15 plants. Yeah, don't minimize it. I was a drug dealer. I was a drug dealer. And my son and I moved into my little apartment. I understand you have a specific question. I put that behind me. And I just did my best to help him. Love him. And that wasn't hard because he was generally just lovable. Awesome. But he was using drugs. Anytime I went away, I had a tour. I know he went off the rails. I recognized myself as the impediment for him to get high. So I figured, oh, that's, that's what we are to each other. I'm the cop, the wall between you and open drug use. I believed everything he said. His mother was not seeing what I was saying. She was not connecting the dots. She was minimizing. Maybe, maybe that's not her fault. Maybe she just couldn't see what I could see. Didn't want to believe. Maybe something inside her did not desire to see truth of that. And she didn't even know that she didn't desire it. The day that my son told me that he had taken heroin, that he had used heroin, she desired not to see it. Well, I was in a car in front of his mother's house and I was having one of those father talks, divorced father talks. I had heard that he took acid and I'm like, Come on, man, that shit is not what you're supposed to be doing. I guess there's a, a time and place for an acid trip. An acid trip. An acid trip. An acid trip. Is that my hypocrisy? Or I don't know, but I'm like, next thing you're going to say is you tried heroin. The person you are trying to reach is on the phone. And he said, Dad. In a few words, can you please comment on your concern or situation? I've used heroin. I've used heroin. I've used heroin. I've used heroin. Dad, I've tried heroin. I felt an impending doom in that moment that I cannot understate, understate. I was like, we are fucked. I can't understand you. It was sadness. It was deep, deep, dark, fear, fear, yes. Guilt, fear. I wasn't angry with him. I was, I was scared. I'm sorry. It looks like I can't understand you. I'm saying I was fucking scared, shitless, for his existence. Where the hell do you get heroin? You're in a fucking private school in the suburbs. How stupid am I? 
I'm also one of those parents that believes what my kids tell me. My daughter doesn't seem to lie, but my son, my son could easily manipulate me and make me believe nothing was wrong because, or is that what I desired? That's the name of the game. And didn't even know is deceive the people that love you. I didn't even know that I didn't want to know so that you could, I didn't know. Kill yourself without any, you know, I didn't know. Obstacles that I didn't know, that I didn't want to know. I say kill yourself because I think taking heroin, just like he didn't, I'm, what I'm trying to say is I taking heroin, he didn't know, is your death. It may not be that day or that night or that overdose or he did not know but it's coming that he wasn't choosing and it's connected to that freely choosing something but that it chose him interesting i'm i'm suggesting there's a direct causation between taking heroin and dying you mean it's not just a parallel occurrence killing yourself a correlative Maybe they're just parallel occurrences and they have nothing to do with each other. There's no cause and effect. It's not a necessary and sufficient cause to die. You can hear how ridiculous that sounds. Maybe we don't choose. Maybe we don't. Maybe we don't have control over what we want. something inside of us is saying I'm hungry for this and you don't have second order control of your desires desire, 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 desire. where you don't want what you want you don't want to want it I know a lot of junkies must say, I hate using junk. I hate being a, an addict. Junkie, a junkie. Could you please tell us what you want to know in a few words? They must play that tennis match with what they want as opposed to what they, what they, what they, what they, what they don't want to want. And behind the scenes, the subconscious curtain Is there a robot behind the scenes? Some kind of, some kind of, some kind of, some kind of algorithm that is redirecting you to the portal. You are being redirected to the portal. Oh, see, oh, see. Some oh, kind see. of program that is just running, just running, just running, just running because running, of your running, DNA. How does this work? The way you were raised, our experiences. Maybe I made you every. Want heroin every moment we've ever lived. Maybe I made my son want it. Let's take a listen to this tune. I will redirect you to an agent. That's okay. Can't help me. Can't help me. Can't help me. Can't help me. It's can't likely help. your agent has no agency. want what I want because I want it. I don't want to want what I want. But something else I can't help wants me to want it. I can't help want it even though I think I want it. And I don't even know what that is. Some part of my brain. I think it's me. It's not a demon. My son would have done. Press count Not my son would have wanted this. Not my son would have wanted to use I you. to go back to using street drugs like that. In a few words, can you please comment on your concern or situation? And in my 
limited view end up in the most obvious end up in the most obvious place, outcome, casket, a casket, a casket, a casket, a casket, a cause, Maybe you didn't want this. Mr. Nobody. Out.